Hey everyone, it's Alex, and today I'm going to be doing a drugstore neutral eye um, using all drugstore products. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get straight into the tutorial. Okay, so to start off our face, we're using CoverGirl Smoothers Concealer in 705 Fair. I'm placing it on any problem spots. We're just patting this in nice and even. Okay, so concealer is done. Next, we're going to be using Rimmel Natural Bronzer and 027 Sundance. And using my MAC 129 Special Edition brush, but any powder brush would do. Um, like fluffy powder brush, that would be great for this look. And we're just putting this where the sun would naturally hit us. And then just kind of blending that a little bit. And then we're just kind of blending it in, like I said. Making sure to go over your concealer spots so that they are not uneven. Okay, next we're going to take Jordana Blush, which I got from a drugstore, but I don't know if it's um, how where else it, you can find it. I found it at a local, like, RX drugstore or whatever. And this is in Coral Sandy Beach. I know you guys have heard me talk about it, but yeah. It's just a really pretty pinky, corally color. And just placing this in the apples of our cheeks and blending up. Okay, so that's all for face. So now I'm going to zoom in and show you the beginning of our eyes. Okay, so we're going to start off by priming our eyes um, by using a base. So this is NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in 617 Iced Mocha. It is um, kind of a gold bronzy color. Yeah, I'm just placing this. Dabbing it lightly, lightly on our lid and into our crease some. I'm just going to use my finger and then just kind of blend this in into our crease. And then whatever is left over on your finger so it's not too heavy, place right where you're going to pl place your highlight so that that has a little bit of a base as well but it won't shine through as um, goldeny brown because there isn't much left on your finger after you spread it all the way through. Um, um, light tan color. All the brushes you'll be, we'll be using today are from CVS. They're the Essence of Beauty brushes, except for the face brushes. Um, I do not have a drugstore form of those, but we'll be using these for our eyeshadow. So we're taking this color and just using a... Um, Firm eyeshadow brush. This is comparable to the MAC 239, and we're just really packing it on the brush and then just patting it on our lids just to kind of give a foundation to our look. Okay, so then the next step is going to be taking this very shimmery color right here, and this color is from LA Colors. Um, and it is in the Darling um, palette. This is actually a palette I depotted. And um, so we're going to be using that. And we're going to be taking the um, same brush and just getting that on there just a little bit, tapping up any excess, and placing that on the inner corner just to. Um, and we're just going to place that on the inner V kind of brighten it. Um, and then we will be taking medium brown and it has the same kind of shimmer that the other did. It's from the same palette. And we will be taking the fluffy brush from the Essence of Beauty. It's just like the um, 
it's the smoky angle brush is what it says so we'll be taking that and then just placing that on our um, outer V okay so next we'll be taking this dark brown from the Wet n Wet n Wild um, Fantasy Island palette it looks like this and we will be taking this dark brown right here and we will be taking this dome sh shaped brush I don't know if you can tell it's like pointed dome shaped brush so that we can get into our um, crease really well and then just working that into the dome shaped brush just at the tip then we're just gonna work that into our crease just to give it some more depth. And then we're going to go back and we're just going to blend these two together. Blending out and up. So pulling that out and then blending up. That's what I'm going to use. This is actually the white from that um, palette. So this will be taking that same brush that was comparable to the 239 from MAC. Kind of packing it on there. And then placing this right on the arc of our eyebrow and coming in. So that is all for eyeshadow colors. Next we'll be curling our eyelashes with Revlon Eyelash Curler. So I'm going to go ahead with the um, L'Oreal Voluminous and this is again in black brown so it'll go better with my hair and look more natural on my eyelashes um, for the color. Okay, so that is it for the mascara. So with all of this neutral, we're going to want to pop of color. So for our lips, I'm using my, my Mira Adoring Lip Color Kit. And I'm using this bright pink right here. And I have a lip brush here from the Essence of Beauty. They call it the small concealer brush, but I think it's perfect for lips, so that's what I'm going to use it for. And I just pat it on and spread. Blend it in. And even though it's bright, it is very wearable. And for gloss, is a really pretty um, bright pink color. I don't really need the pump, but um, for some people, they like it. And it does taste like cinnamon, so that's always a plus. Um, so, applicator is pretty short. I'm just going to dot this on. And this is our finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and leave any requests in a message or in a comment in the comment box. Um, I will see you guys soon. Bye!